All right, real simple. Your job is basically fourth grade, okay? You stay behind the defense. Now, yes. that means if there was a block here, you're staying behind the defense, yes, okay? Sir. Yes, sir. Your job is to just go anywhere you want in the short corner, and you're allowed to go to the three-point line if you're a three-point shooter, mm -hmm. okay? If you're not, then you don't go there, okay? You can put guard or forward back here. It doesn't matter. We've had teams where we put our guards back here because we get them the ball, they attack, and then we kick it out. But it doesn't matter, okay? So for now, your job is to always stay below the block. Okay. Okay, because you're putting pressure on the back of the defense. Because the more that they're aware of you, the more we can get the ball to the, who we call the designated flasher. So that's your job. That's simple, yes. okay? All right, now, who would be the best player of you four? Seriously. Would you be? Sure. It's all right. Well, you got to be. Step up here. You know what I mean? All right. Now, so that means you stink, right? You 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 stink. You suck, and you're horrendous, right? Okay. Right. One of the greatest timeouts in NCAA history is when I was we were in Tennessee. I don't know if Dean's still here, but we were, we got down 20. So I called timeout. I had the five players sitting there. I said, okay, you stink. You suck. You're horrendous. You're awful, and you you just can't play. So when I got to the fifth kid, she said, Hey, I'm awful. She stinks. And the other one says, Now I can't play. She's awful. So that's one of the, you know, it's just a little levity. You got it? Okay. All right, now, you three are perimeter players. Got it? Okay, here are your rules. When you pass the ball, you're going to leave a spot and fill a spot. Okay? So you can either do that by passing or you could do it by dribbling. Okay, if you pass the ball, okay, you're going to leave this spot and you're going to go fill a spot. Got it? All right, go do that. Very good. All right. High IQ right there. Okay, now, here the, here's another rule. i got to give you all these stupid rules, okay? You can't be too close together and you can't be too far apart, okay? So now, no A to B stuff, right? You ever go to, you ever, I don't know if you had any of these practices where they always have these little X's on the court. You ever go to those practices? Our men's team, they like to put these little X's on the court. So I used to go out and like jump on the X. And I used to want to know like, if I stand on that X, will the end of the world come? Like, you know, do you have to stand right here? Like, can't you stand like right there? So I, I, that's, that's the stuff that bothers me in life. Okay, so now, as we go along here, so now, you left the spot and you filled the spot. All right, come on back up here. Hurry up. Give her the ball. Now, you can also dribble. So you can wave her. Okay, wave at her. Okay, go through. Now, you can leave the spot. You're going to fill that spot. You're going to come up. Okay, stop. Now, you, we'll, get, we'll get to you in a minute, all right? So now, you've left the spot and filled the spot by dribbling now. So now, when you pass the ball... You now continue on. Leave a spot, fill a spot. So you could go there, you could go there, or you could just stand right there. Now, somebody says to me, you told them to leave a spot and fill a spot, right? Well, basketball sense overrules all the rules. So if I'm in a zone, give her the ball. If I'm in a zone and you dribbled over and you passed the ball to her and I left you and went like this, why would you have to leave a spot to fill a spot? You find, find the, the, the ultimate rule is get open, okay? And somebody says to me once, like, where do I go? I say, go where the defense isn't. 